Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can professionally color grade your Valorant videos and montages using Adobe Premiere without any plugins. So this is just the default stuff within Adobe Premiere and we're going to color correct or realistically color grade our montages. Currently I'm in love with the game Valorant and I want to make content for it. I actually have a project on the side that hopefully I'll be releasing next week or the week after. So I wanted to walk you through how you could color correct them and make it look clean, like not overdo it, but make it look nice and professional. So I have three examples here and I'll walk you through each one. So first in Adobe Premiere, we want to make sure we're highlighted over our clip and we go to the color tab. So for the first color correction, we're going to go in the basics tab. We're going to go to exposure and we're going to change it to 0.1, just brightening it up slightly. Next, we're going to open up the curves tab and you're going to copy what I do with the curves. So first in the black and the white, I'm going to add a few markers here so I can control it better. Here I'm going to bring up the blacks, at least the pure blacks at the bottom, but I'm going to bring down the shadows slightly and then I'll slightly raise the highlights. Over in the red and the green curves, I'm going to make an S graph, which I'm sure you are all familiar with. But for this one, we're just going to make it a very light S graph. So basically lowering the shadows and raising the highlights just a little bit. And for the blue, we're going to do a slight inverse of the S where we lower the highlights and raise the shadows. Again, a very small amount. Now we're going to go back to the basic tab. We're going to open Lumetri Scopes, as you see I opened it here. Um, I should open that at the beginning. But here you can look at your highlights and your shadows and see if any of them are clipping. And we're going to bring down our highlights to say minus four. Now we're going to open up the Vignette tab. And for this you can really crank the amount to a high number just so when you're playing with your midtones and your roundness and your feathering, you can see it better. But in the end I'm going to use a midpoint at 3.3 a roundness at 30, feather at 100, and I'm going to change the amount to minus 0.3. Really you should play with it, but this is just a nice uh, simple one. I don't want it too strong because the vignettes are a little strong with this effect here. After you're happy with the vignette, play it for a bit and see how it looks. I notice here when I get close to the wall it looks too bright, so I go back into my highlights and I drag down my highlights a little just because I don't want any clipping or anything too bright popping out on screen. After that, I noticed it was a little too colorful or not what I was going for, so I went to my creative tab again and brought down the vibrance to a minus 4.5. Now, you can just turn it on and off in your effects tab when clicked on this clip to see what it looks like, but really uh, a better way to do that is also to do this effect on top of an adjustment layer, and that way you can actually play with the opacity of the adjustment layer. So you could have this color correction, you think it's too strong, change the opacity to say 80% or any percent you like just to try it out. That's usually what I do, but for this example, I'm just doing it on the clip. All right, for color correction two, we're gonna start in the creative tab. We're gonna go under look, drop down, we're gonna find SL neutral start. So these are just basic LUTs that people have, or I guess come with Adobe Premiere Pro here, but we're gonna uh, play off this one here. Under the intensity of the LUT, we're gonna change it to 115. The vibrance, we're gonna change to 20. Back to the basic correction tab, we're gonna change the exposure to 0.9. And now we'll go to the vignette tab, change the amount to minus 0.1, midpoint 4, roundness 25, and feather 100. And that's color correction 2. You can turn it on and off and compare it there. Personally, I like color correction 1 more, but for color correction 3, I'm going to get a, a, little, a little more colorful with this one. So here for color correction 3, we're going to start in the creative tab. We're going to click down on the looks and look for the LUT. SL, clean, Kodak, A, HDR. Obviously this footage is in HDR, but I like this LUT for a starting place. I'm gonna change the vibrance to 35 and the saturation to 105. Now we go to the basic correction tab, change the exposure to 1.1. I know it's very bright, but we're gonna play with it here. Make sure you have your scopes open so you can see if your highlights are peaking. And our highlights now, we're gonna change it to minus 61. We're gonna go to our whites, go minus 11. Go to our blacks, minus three. Open up our vignette tab. Go amount minus 0.6, midpoint stays at 50, roundness at 14, and feather up to 100. And you can see them here. I personally like number one the most, but these are three easy color corrections and good starting places if you want to use Adobe Premiere with no plugins. Now, personally, I love the Magic Bullet plugins. I like using Magic Bullet looks on top, getting kind of a little bit of diffusion and a glow look, then adding Magic Bullet Mojo on the bottom to really uh, get the colors and the pop I'm looking for. That's what I'm trying to mimic here with these color corrections. You could also add noise if you really wanted to. I usually like adding a small amount of noise to it, especially if your footage is lower quality. But I think we did a good job using the basic tools within Adobe Premiere here. Let me know what you think and look forward to my first Valorant video, video um, actually edited like a montage, hopefully in a week or two. All right, guys, take care and I'll catch you in the next video.